Hey everybody, it's been a long time since I've done a custom Migo video, and that's because, well, I haven't finished a custom in a long time. I've also been hoping for some guest hosts, and I think I'll be taping some at uh, this month's Migo Meet Toy Show that's happening June 15th in Columbus, Ohio. Migo Meet is the reason I picked up my brushes again, as we hold an annual auction of custom creations, and all the funds go towards keeping the Migo Museum afloat. So we can continue hosting the forums, making videos, updating the galleries. It's truly a labor of love. Our very generous pool of customizers donate their work and their talents for the Mega Museum. It's also a lot of fun. Usually uh, the folks from the big toy auction uh, show up and do kind of a, an event. I hope they do this year as well. They're not confirmed yet, but, you know, fingers crossed. This year, I decided to make figures based on two of my paintings. I, I paint more than anything in these days, and, and I love to do mashups. So I'd love to introduce you to Gentleman Sleestack and his partner in crime, Cayman Hipster. Both of these gents come with accessories like cocktails and a record player. I'd also like to point out Cayman Hipster's space pants, which are important to me. These two will come in an extremely limited edition two-pack in that I only plan to make one of these ever. Good thing is, if you're unable to attend the Mego Meat auction, we will be running it live via our Facebook page, and I'll put a link to that in our description. It's normally hosted, like I said, by a real live auctioneer, so it's kind of a fun thing to watch. The Mego Meat auction has been growing all year and i'd like to spend some time now showcasing some of the other gorgeous contributions thus far jim hampton one of our longtime customizers and talents has created something called the hatbox ghost an original creation who looks really spooky brian leitner another longtime member has offered a green hornet and kato two-pack that looks like migo made it in the 1970s that's a compliment where I come from, by the way. Chad Gordy has donated this amazing Calibos from Clash of the Titans that's totally one of a kind. It looks like it is on Zeus's trophy room, and it's pretty amazing. Mego Meet showrunner Steve Moore has created a 12-inch Mego magnetic Spider-Man that looks just like the one Mego made for some reason but decided not to release. Ed and Scott, who go by Random Noir, are making a one-of-a-kind stealth to Tetsujin Tiger 7 figure. I hope I didn't mangle that. Ed Nagy is donating a pair of customs based on Blazing Saddles. And we have more surprises coming, being announced in the next two weeks, so keep an eye on the Mega Museum or at the Mega Meet Facebook page for more updates. Thank you for watching, and I really hope to see you at Mego Meet this year. I think it's going to be our biggest year ever. We've got Marty Abrams coming. We've got Dr. Mego coming. And I think it's going to be one of the best dealer's rooms we've ever had. So if you were in the area, please consider it. Thanks, and uh, hopefully you'll see the custom Mego creation flag flying again sometime this summer.